In this video, we're going to discuss matter, and matter can be broken up into two broad categories, and those categories are pure substances and mixtures. A pure substance is a form of matter which is made up of one type of element or compound. An element consists of one type of atom, and it cannot be broken down into simpler types of matter. And we can determine all the different elements out there by looking at the periodic table. So for example, hydrogen is an element, helium is an element, lithium is an element, beryllium is an element, boron is an element. Each one of these by themselves is an element. Overall, elements only consist of one type of atom. Some examples include sodium, aluminum, and iron. And there are seven elements we need to discuss. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. These seven elements cannot stand by themselves. Due to this, we have diatomic elements. Diatomic elements are elements that form molecules consisting of two atoms bonded together. So for example, H2, N2, O2. You wouldn't see one hydrogen by itself. It would have to bond with another hydrogen to form H2. The other type of pure substance we have to discuss are compounds. They contain two or more different elements bonded together, and they can be broken down into simpler types of matter by chemical means. Compounds have two or more elements bonded together. Some examples include H2O, CO2, and NaCl. Each one of these has two elements together. And when we look at compounds, notice that you have an uppercase. Every time you see an uppercase letter, it's a new element in the compound. Lower cases go with the uppercase. So for example, Na, you have an uppercase and a lowercase. Uppercase N, lowercase A, that's one element. Uppercase C, lowercase L, that's another element in the compound. The next category we need to discuss are mixtures. Mixtures are a substance which is made up of two or more different substances and are physically combined. And there are two types of mixtures we need to discuss. The first one is heterogeneous mixture. This is a mixture that is not uniform throughout. Because this mixture is not uniform throughout, we can actually tell that there's different parts that make up this mixture. Some examples include salad, ice and soda, sand and water. So let's talk about salad. You can distinctly tell that it is made of different components, the lettuce, the cheese, the tomato. You can tell that there's different components of the salad. Same with ice and soda. You can tell that there's ice and there's soda in that mixture. Now let's discuss homogeneous mixtures. They are a mixture that is uniform throughout. Because a homogeneous mixture is uniform throughout, we can't tell it is made up of more than one thing. It looks like it's one thing, but it's actually made up of two, three, four, or more things. Let's look at some examples. These examples are brass, steel, and air. They all look like one thing because they're uniform throughout. But in reality, they're made up of different elements and compounds. So for example, brass is made up of copper and zinc. It's made up of two elements, but brass looks like one thing. So homogeneous mixtures are uniform throughout.